Can benzene react with just sulfuric acid? The answer is yes, as long as this is fuming or at a high temperature. The reason is that H2SO4 can decompose to give you H2O and SO3. And SO3 is enough of an electrophile that benzene can react with it. Would you like to watch that happen? I'm sure you would, that's why you're here. Benzene, remember, is six carbon atoms in a ring, alternating double bonds, and there's a hydrogen on each of the carbons, even though it's not often shown. Now, SO3, the way I draw the Lewis structure for SO3 is with a sulfur triple bonded to three oxygens. Some teachers will draw that differently, but hey, here we are. And then that sulfur, which is connected to three very electronegative atoms, is slightly delta plus. In fact, I believe it has a formal charge of positive three. Positive two? I don't know. It's got a positive formal charge, though. That is attractive enough that an electron pair from benzene, even though they're delocalized, can attack it. Now, that ends up giving you the same benzene ring, but with only two of the double bonds intact. You still have an H here. You still have an H here, but now you also have a connection to the sulfur. Now, actually, when you form an extra covalent bond to sulfur, you're going to have to displace one of the double bonds that it's attached to. You end up with that sulfur being double bonded to two oxygens, and one of the oxygens has a formal charge of minus one on it. Now, the other carbon that didn't get the SO3 group is missing a bond. It has a formal charge of plus one, and that means that this whole structure has an overall charge of zero, because after all, we reacted to particles that both had net charges of zero. Now, the electrons from this bond between carbon and hydrogen can flow back into the bond to reform the double bond, as long as Oh, sorry, it's not those electrons. It's the electrons on this H. This H ends up leaving, or rather, maybe the electrons from the oxygen nearby steal it away, like a proton relocation. If it does steal that H away, where are the electrons in that covalent bond going to go? Well, they can flow towards the formal charge of plus one for that carbocation. That helps to reform an, that original double bond that had been there. You still have that hydrogen. And now you have an SO3 group with one proton on it. This process is called sulfonation. If you're looking to find it somewhere in your textbook. And it is the result of benzene reacting with sulfuric acid. Congratulations and best of luck.